Wine tasting is a thriving California pastime, and each of the state's wineries try to offer their own special varieties. Jeff Freeland is the manager of Oso Libre Winery. We grow here on the estate Cabernet Sauvignon, Primitivo, which is a type of Zinfandel, and Morvedra. Of the 300 or so wineries in the Paso Robles area, Oso Libre is unique. It's also a family farm, ranch, wildlife habitat, fully sustainable, and with solar and wind power off the grid. This is our Primitivo on the hill. It grows much better with the, the air slope. Chris Bear is owner of Oso Libre, which translates into Free Bear, a play on his last name, and his original desire to settle here on open land, free from the hustle of L.A. After getting here and seeing the wine business was starting to take off, we planted our fruit first and sold it to various good, good wineries in town. And after finding out that farming was really hard, we, we decided if we skipped that middleman and made the wine ourselves and learned how to do it, we'd be better off. And Oso Libre offers more than wine. We ventured into the cattle business and the wine business at the same time. So our tag is Vines, Wines, and Angus. The beef cattle raised on the winery are hormone and antibiotic free and overseen by two Texas longhorns. There's also a herd of sheep which tend the vineyards after harvest. We grow sheep to fertilize and to mow our vineyard. The mowing uh, prevents me from getting on a tractor six, seven extra times a year. And they have twins a lot. This is a twin. When the sheep are sheared, their wool is given to local weavers. It's all part of what sets this winery apart. It's a certified SIP, or sustainability in practice operation. The animals control weeds, reducing the need for herbicides. To control rodents, instead of using poison, barn owls are brought in and given homes. Much of the property remains in a natural state. Wildlife is calm. We have 77 solar panels on the roof, along with that wind machine, and as a result, we're grid-free in our winery. So we don't have any carbon footprint. Uh, the extra electricity we generate is for our home. But what brings the people here is the wine, and it's the only place you can get it. We're very small. We only produce about four to 5,000 cases of wine. We don't distribute our wines. So if you want Oso Libre, you, you come here or you join the wine club, which is really our, our, our primary form. Chris Bear believes Oso Libre has carved its own niche among wineries in the Paso Robles region. When you see the land, it makes a difference, and hopefully when you taste the wines, it makes a difference too. On Vineyard Drive near Paso Robles, Gene Hagenson, ABC 30 Action News.